hello everyone welcome back to our channel so we are solving a problem based on the type 1 so this is the third question in this series determine the resultant of the force acting as given in the figure so this question was asked in the May 2019 and this is the given question so it consists of force 1 7 kN force 2 10 kN force 3 10 kN and 4 forces 3 kN the only problem with this question is that the angle is not given so we should calculate the angle of every force with respect to the x axis first thing that is find the angle of all forces with horizontal x axis so to calculate the angle we should know the included angle of this pentagon so for any polygon the included angle can be calculated by using this formula theta is equal to n minus 2 into 180 by n where n is the number of sides for pentagon sides are 1 2 3 4 5 so we'll put n is equal to 5 so it becomes 5 minus 2 so it is 3 into 180 divided by 5 so we'll get the answer of this question is equal to 108 so in this way we can say that this included angle total is equal to 108 now this every side will divide this angle into equal parts so this is equal to this part and it is equal to this so we'll divide 108 by 3 so we'll get the 36 degree as the answer so every angle is 36 here if octagon is asked then you can put n is equal to 8 here and here you will get the included angle for the octagon now we'll find out the angle of all the forces with positive x-axis so this is the xy coordinate this is the first horizontal force 7 kN so its angle will be 0 next one is 10 kN so from here to here the angle will be 36 degree so we are using our new technique so we'll find out the angle of all the forces with respect to positive x-axis so this angle then this angle and at the end final angle so the next force is 10 kN so we'll find out this angle now we know that this angle is equal to 36 degree so total angle will be 36 plus 36 72 degree then last force is 3 kN so the angle of 3 kN will be 72 this total angle plus next 36 degree so it is 108 degree so in this way we are calculated the angles for all four forces now we'll put them in the table format so start with the first one first force is 7 kN its angle with the horizontal is equal to 0 the next force is 10 kN its angle with the horizontal is equal to 36 degree the next force is 10 kN its angle is 72 degree and at the end 3 kN its angle is equal to 108 degree so in this way we have completed the step 1 so if you have confusion about what is the step one in this you can watch our previous video for better understanding now the second step is to check the direction of all the forces so we'll check the direction based on the forces outward or the forces inward if the force is outward we'll consider it as a positive theta is positive well if the force is inward we'll consider theta is as a negative so for 7 kN it is outward force so it is positive 10 kN outward force so theta is positive the next is 10 kN again it is outward so theta will be positive and at the end 3 kN it is again outward force so theta will be again positive so we will put the values 7 theta is positive for 10 kN theta is again positive for again 10 kN theta is positive and for the last force theta is positive now I will put all the values in the table format see by using the conventional method you will draw a very difficult diagrams like you will find the components for every force right so it makes the figure complicated many things are involved plus or minus but in this method only two things are required first you find the angle with the horizontal and just say whether the angle is positive or negative so many with minimum steps we can find out the resultant so it, this method is very very effective so now we put our values in the table format so write all the forces and angles 1 2 3 and 4 now find out x and fy fx will be f cos theta and fy will be f sin theta so put the value first value will be 7 into cos of 0 then next value will be 10 into cos of 36 
next equation is 10 cos of 72 and at the end 3 cos of 108. So in this way, very simple way, we can calculate the fx component of all the forces. Now we'll find out the real component for the all the forces. So Fy1 is equal to 7 sin of 0. Fy2 is equal to 10 sin of 36. Fy3 is equal to 10 sin of 72. And Fy4 is equal to 3 sin of 108. So easy to calculate all the values. Now this column will remain constant means here will not be interchanged like fx is equal to f sin theta. It will be always fx is equal to f cos theta and fy is equal to f sin theta. Now we'll find out the summation of all the values in the fx column. So this is summation of fx. Now find the summation of fy for all these values. So this is summation of fy 18.242. Okay, so just remember this table and it is very easy method to find out the summation of fx and summation of fy. Now we'll find out the resultant. Now the resultant for given force is equal to r is equal to summation of fx square plus summation of fy square. Put the value of summation of fx and fy, we'll get the value of resultant is equal to 25.108. Most of the student while putting this value in the calculator, they used to put like this. This is first summation square and plus the remaining value. So in this way you will not get the exact answer. To get the exact answer you can put one more bracket here. So you will get the square root of complete equation. The next is to find out angle of resultant of force. So the formula is theta is equal to tan inverse of summation of fy divided by summation of fx. By putting the value we get theta is equal to 46.595. At the end, we will represent the resultant. For that, we should have the value of summation of fx. fx is positive. It means horizontal component will point towards the right direction. Just like this. Then the value of summation of fy is again positive. So if you draw a vertical line, which one will be positive, upward or downward? Upward is positive. That's why your fy coordinate will be in the upward direction. So your resultant will lie in the first coordinate. Now show the resultant write its value and a theta. So in this way by following these steps we can easily calculate the value of resultant and the corresponding angle. If you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.